Yep. Have we got like a little intro music or something that you've done? Um, not yet. Okay, we, so we will have some. I can yeah. do it. So, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> welcome to Aircast, the Air Locker <laughs> Training Podcast. I re- Hello, guys. Welcome back. I am here in studio with Roman Brady, hey! the beautiful Emma McEwen, oh. and I, of Hello. course. Hello. I, of course, am Ellie Miles. I'm the National Franchise Manager here at Air Locker Training. And right now, you are on air with Air Locker. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Ellie, thank you for the introduction. I am so happy to be here today. Um, em, you are such a breath of fresh air for our whole brand. We're so happy we connected. You've just come off the back of an amazing, amazing opening day on Saturday in Penrith. Penrith! Penrith. Yes! Penrith. Penrith! Climb your Everest! <laughs> tell, me, tell us, tell us, how is it now? I mean, there's so much been done. I can't wait to go through the journey with you. How's it all going now in, in Penrith? Well, what a high. Honestly, I am still on such a high after that VIP week and um, coming into our grand opening, having everybody there surrounded by so much love and support. And now we're back into just, just us, the crew at Penrith and killing it. Like everybody absolutely is, is still just buzzing the wow. whole time. They're loving the classes, loving the facilities. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're really, we're just still on a massive high. Ellie, I don't know about you, but I've missed them already. <laughs> I know, honestly. I was <laughs> lucky enough. I know, I know. I was lucky enough last week to go down and spend some time with Emma and the team. And I had to duck back midweek to Newcastle. And I was like, I don't want to leave. Yeah. I just want to go back there. It's honestly the nicest vibe there in Penrith. And you guys have a beautiful team. And I'm so excited to watch you guys continue to grow and evolve as a team. How's everyone settling in there? I think everyone is settling in really beautifully. Um, we all have the same goal. We really want it to feel like a family and community. Um, the team feels like family already. And, and so do the members, actually. Like a lot of them yeah. already feel like we've known them for a really long time. So everybody's like slotted in really beautifully. Now tell me, how's Les and Anita going? Are they, are they, are they, are they, are they well? Are they missing um, Greg? Are they missing Mitch? I mean, they, they don't have any, the, any, anyone to put shit on anymore. Like Greg's gone. The pit bull's gone. Um, how are well, they going? But we miss the pit bull. Actually, he's been in a few times. The pit bull. I think he, he wants to work out of there now. He wants to work uh, out of Penrith. But, he doesn't um, want to yeah. let go, does he? Yeah, no, he doesn't want to let go. No, that's good though. We love that. We love having him around and um, absolutely love Mitch and Greg for the amazing work that they did with the build. Like we couldn't have asked for a better team and their team was incredible as well. You know, um, mum and dad have been on a high as well. They've actually just retreated to Newcastle for a bit of a holiday. I'm like, Swansea, I've me. seen that. I've seen the caravan. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, they're, cool. they're up helping my sister at the moment, but... Um, yeah, they, they're like, they didn't want to leave because yeah. it's been so fun. It has been so fun. It's been a lot of work, but it's been so much fun because it like, because of you guys, you just make it um, easy and fun and yeah, enjoyable. Oh, Everything that's nice. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. You ready to go on a journey? You ready to go on a journey back from where it started? I can't wait. Okay. Uh, so you've got an incredible story. And what, what, when did you first hear about air locker training? Take us there. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of a story, I guess. Um, I was working in that. You want me to go all the way to the beginning? Go, go deep. Go all the way. There are no rules here. <laughs> Tell me where okay, you were well, born. <laughs> what was the... <laughs> I was born and raised in Penrith. Well, there you there go. There we go. Go, Penny. <laughs> Penny Bay. Yes. We call it Penny Bay here. Thank you very much. Uh, I like um, it. Yes, that's where I was born and raised. Um, I was working in that. So I've got three kids um, and a wonderful husband. Very, very, very supportive husband. Uh, great who, guy. Who, Wade, Absolutely. shout out to you. Um, yeah, shout out to Wade. <laughs> My man. Uh, actually, the whole family. I've got a shout out to the whole family. They're yes. all amazing. Um, yeah, I guess I've, I've worked in health in, in the PN hospital for over 10 years and um, last year I was actually, it worked around, it worked really well around the kids, you know, it was local, I was close to home, I didn't have to travel very far and um, last year um, in January I was diagnosed with breast cancer. So that kind of changed, put it, put a bit of a spanner in the works for, for us. Um, 
definitely not what you expect as a young mum um and you know all of that so i i was lucky enough to find it pretty early um but it was it was um still quite traumatic for all of us obviously yeah. when you go through something like that um when i went to the doctor to find out we had to wait like three or four days for the diagnosis oh, it was pretty horrible but um, when we found out, um, my doctor told me that I'd have to go through chemo, I'd have to have surgery and I'd have to go through radiation and that I would be turned into a male. So yeah. the incense, the you are the most beautiful was- woman we know. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so nice. I, um, it was very like, that was just horrible. First of all, you don't like being told that, but, um, then being especially totally when, horrible. especially initially you've just been delivered this piece of news that is just going to completely, it's, there's just so many levels of uncertainty and unknown and fear and just, Oh, I'm getting choked up thinking about it for yeah. you. M, but, um, yeah. Yeah. For then it, to have very traumatic, <laughs> but then to have that level of just insensitivity given to you, like by saying oh, you're about to be, Sometimes I think medical professionals try to put the worst in front of you straight away. Um, maybe for the fact that just, you know, um, brace for the worst, hope for the best. Um, probably not the best delivery, but so what happened from there? He Am was you, visibly you, shaken by it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was visibly shaken by his our, he's our age. So I, I think it may have came, come out wrong, but that was just yeah. like another blow. It's just like, oh, I started researching like, where you get wigs and and how I can like maybe keep my hair or my eyelashes and my eyebrows and maybe that's a bit vain but it was just such like just such oh. a huge shock to the system and then at the time my kids were away with friends with family um up down the coast and so we had a couple of days to just like try to soak it in before we broke it to them and yeah. breaking wow. it to them I'm get emotional now wow. I'm getting up dear enough too <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I guess <clears throat> once they got back, they knew that I was, had gone to the doctor and yeah. that, um, I had found a lump and, um, yeah, had to sit the three of them down. They were three, five and seven at the time. Oh. Um, and I wanted to be very honest with them. I think it was important yeah. to, to, um, keep them in the loop because, um, it was going to be a big thing for all of us to go through and I'm a very positive person. So I, um, I wanted to um, make sure that they knew that I was going to fight regardless of how this was going to come, like how this was going to, you know, play out. Yep. I'd work through it. And yeah, my seven-year-old son at the time um, asked if I was going to die. And mm. like having that question asked by a little kid. Wow. Yeah, it was just really yeah. tough. Um, out of the whole process and was that the hardest thing telling your kids yeah i think so i think yeah. so um i guess not knowing there's a lot of unknowns when something like this happens too sure. um but yeah so i was like i don't know but i'm not planning on going anywhere we will fight this regardless of what happens we will fight and we have everybody around us that knows what's going on and we were very open with the kids and and i told their their school i told their friends parents just in case that c word came up because yep. it's something that little kids shouldn't have to know about sure. um, but then the school just banded around us and wow. all the family like the friends of the families and um, my whole family and all my friends like people just came out of the woodwork and we really got to see people's true colors in a really positive way like and honestly, I was at my fittest and my healthiest at the time. So if you were to get cancer and you don't ever want to, but I think it was a really good time for us because we'd also finished having our family. We have three little kids and we didn't want any more, um, which was a, a hurdle that we didn't need to cross, thankfully. Um, and I dealt like I had to go through a major surgery. I had a, a mistake to be done. Um, and that surgery was like, have you seen botched? <laughs> Oh, oh my god that first surgery was so bad it was so bad i was so that the, the trauma of um you know what em that they, huge- they say they say that uh the big fella upstairs puts the hardest test on his best disciples you know and, so and just <laughs> because he knows that they can handle the it. resilience you've shown um your your mindset uh, you know, in our, in adversity has been, we will not stop. 
we will keep fighting and yeah. um you know a massive shout out to your whole family your kids your inner circle in the whole penrith area the school um you guys are great people and um it's just an incredible uh incredible thing you've gone through and the way you handle it you know l and i and a whole team we've seen it we've known that story and we just look up to you um, you know? you know what I reckon, Em, how all those people rallied behind you. That's a testament to the kind of person that you are to have all those people, you know, just come and show you their support and love. That's all because it's so well deserved. Yeah. Thank you. you don't think <laughs> I know. I'm going to cry as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So okay. through the whole ordeal, you've had the operation. Um, obviously, by the sounds of it, you're not happy with it. What's the next, what was the next part? Uh, at the very, so it's six week recovery at the very end of the six week recovery, COVID hit and I had to homeschool three kids. Oh, wow. So we, we did that. I had a bit of a mental breakdown because I was like, I haven't even dealt with this yet. Like I've got to have the kids all home and homeschool them. But like Wade in his amazing way was like, all right, let's just sit and talk. What do you need to be able to get through this? And that night we went out and bought like desks and little bits and pieces to make me feel like I was ready for it. Mm -hmm. And he was working from home. So I had him there as well. And, you know, our kids are so resilient. It's amazing how resilient they are. And they pushed through and we did really amazing things at homeschooling. I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> a lot of people didn't. I actually enjoyed it. Um, I learned. But again, Em, it's the way you look at it. It's the way you <laughs> looked at this situation. You know, you've seen it for what it is. It's not great. And you've adapted to it and you've got the most out of it. It's, a, it's just such a good trait you've got. Adapt and overcome. <laughs> Adapt and overcome Adapt everything. And overcome. Well, yeah, maybe, I, maybe that's let's the get Penrith, that tattooed on us. Oh yes, that's maybe the Penrith spirit. I think so. Adapt and overcome. Adapt and climb your Everest. Climb your Everest. Climb your Everest. I love it. <laughs> that was your Everest. I love I love it. It. Adapt and overcome. I'm oh, gonna God. write that down. <laughs> so you've just gone through this whole ordeal, right? And just been a complete warrior through it. And uh, <laughs> have we met yet in the journey yet? <laughs> We haven't met yet. Oh, Sorry. we haven't met yet. We I, haven't met I yet. Shorten it. No, no, no. I, no. In my mind, I feel no. like I've known you your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life story. In the All right, life story. Well, got it. It's been a year and a half. Or two oh years wow, now, right? what a what a journey. <laughs> the journey you've been on. All right, on. I'm not going to fasten so, you up. You take your time. <laughs> I just wanted so to we know settled in, when we had Nick. Went if, back to school. Went back to school. Um, we moved house. <laughs> Oh, mate, just well, top, throw well, that out top. <laughs> <laughs> but I found, I, I started to look, and I'd been looking for a long time at um, something that I would really love to do for my career. Um, and like the hospital, like I said before, it had worked really well around the kids. I had my maternity leave. I double dipped with that, you know. Um, it worked around the kids. We'd pick up and, and um, drop off times. They were very flexible with my shifts and working in with Wade's work and things like that. So it was a really good job, but I just, it wasn't something that I wanted to do as a career. It was just kind of a means to an end. I met a, some incredible people there too um, that will be friends for life. But um, the actual job was kind of... Um, it's not fulfilling boring. something in you. <laughs> it wasn't, yeah. It wasn't fulfilling. It it's wasn't a stepping stone. Yeah, exactly right. And it was, and I've been in customer service my whole life, like my whole working life now. So I gained a lot of experience from that, um, working with, um, you know, doctors as well as yep. like nurses and, and, and lo lots of different people. So I, I can adapt quite well to, to, um, different situations with sure. people. I can kind of get along with most people. Um, it's, it, yeah, I don't, I don't have much trouble with that. So, uh, we moved house and, um, there, I, on Facebook one day and not that I was looking, but a job came up at a local gym and I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because um, I want to do something for myself. And I love the vibe in gyms. Like I love the, the positivity and the energy that comes into the room when people are doing something really good for themselves. Um, so I applied for the job, got it <laughs> like that day or the next day they, they gave it to me. Um, absolutely start to started to thrive there i felt like i was in the right place with the right people because they were and I, I was still working at the hospital it was a second job <laughs> like because yep. i didn't have enough on my plate it was fine because you just <laughs> do that you just work and work and grind <laughs> 
You know what I mean? And got through kids. Give me everything. And you gone got. through just hell and back. Give me everything you got. Uh, in life. Come at me. What else can I do? <laughs> <laughs> I actually say, run at me. No, <laughs> run, at run, me. At run at me. I dare you. Just run at me. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love that. My the boss there was incredible. She taught me a lot, and um, then I yeah I caught wind of Air Locker while I was working there, um, and I was like. It's a like it's a it's a big investment for um for us like yes. going out of our comfort zone a little bit, um so I, I like kind of on the down low told Wade about it like just like about it and he's just like oh that sounds amazing yeah. oh yes Wade amazing I'm like wait a minute Wade doesn't get excited over anything like that's anything. awesome <laughs> like he's a very calm collected person and he was just I like, have to say like, though yeah. I have to say though it is. It's something that's easy to get excited about. It is. Because it's so different. It's so probably the catchy person. thing. Yes. I'm a very excitable person. So I found out about this and I was like instantly, oh my gosh, this will be amazing. But wait a minute, I've got to tell Wade about it. So let's just like calm down and <laughs> I'll just see what he says. <laughs> and the fact that he was so excited about it, I was like, we've got onto a good thing here. Like this I know it's happening really successful. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, okay, okay, cool. So we started to like talk to family about it and, and just kind of see what they were th their thoughts. Well, everybody was like, no way. Like athletes have been using this for ages, having to travel overseas or wear an ugly, heavy, uncomfortable mask or like, it just hasn't been done yeah. in group like fitness before. So I'm like, yay. It's happening. Yeah. Like, okay, I, can it. It. I can feel it's it. I can feel it now. It's happening. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what did you, did you talk to your friends and family and they thought it was like a bit hardcore, like, Oh, I don't know, but that's going to be hard training yeah, or is like, it? Holy, holy shit. No, this is, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So they're like, this is like next level. We will like, this is the, this is going to take the fitness industry by storm. Like it's just going to take over everything because it's mm -hmm. just so different and not, not your average people haven't haven't done this before. Yeah. Um, so people want different so too. People are ready yeah. for the next thing, and that is altitude. Yes. We're so where like I I can speak for myself. Like the first very first class I did, I was like, I'm done. I'm in. This is it. This is me. <laughs> and you know, for me, that sparked into career and investment. And for you, Emma, what was how was your first air locker training class? Like what did, what, what did you first think? And you came yeah, into so a special one, didn't you? It was a special did, long one. It was a tough oh one. The first the one. No, to it wasn't a goat. It wasn't a goat. It wasn't a goat, but what we, we were actually doing a fundraiser for uh, Marky's foundation. <gasps> Shout out to Marky. Um, hey, and they came in <laughs> and I'm like, look, this is pretty hardcore. This one we're doing. <laughs> Uh, what a what a session to come! And you came in late. I, I remember you came in late. Remember? Oh, in Bondi, yeah, it was Bondi. Yes. We did it in Bondi. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We got we couldn't find parking. Yes. So that was in November last year. So they've we come straight in. in. No yeah. warm up. No warm up. Straight in. Go on that straight one in. and go straight to the peak <laughs> in the deep end. <laughs> uh, no acclimatization. <laughs> Never done this before. <laughs> Go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sprint. I'd been uh, like I'd been in the I had I had worked out quite a bit over the years, like um, in particular in F forty five. So I was like, yeah, no, I'll be right. I'll, I got this. You know, that's fine. Not that I like I hadn't been super active, but I was like, no, no, I, I'll be right. I'll be right. Yeah, got in there. Um, never in my <laughs> life have I come to the point where I thought I was going to pass out. Like yeah. I I went as hard as I would normally go, and mm -hmm. I was just like, oh. Like how, like so I had Ellie knows this people. chat. <laughs> Ellie knows this chat. And M, now you're a proud owner. You know this chat too. Mm. When you <laughs> first come in. It's a common misconception. People think it's just the same just as everybody Just go the same. Was. Yeah, just and go the same. Well, I didn't notice oh, and, the difference when I first walked in. I didn't yep. notice anything when I walked, first walked in. Mm. But then I started working but out. But you start, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But we usually say, look, um, you know, you've got your ex training under your belt. Yeah. You're okay, fit. Okay. With, you're I'm fit. sizing you, you up. You're fit. Yeah. I'm looking okay. at like, Els walks in. Oh um, yeah, she, yeah, she's fit. She's fit. But hey, just go slow, acclimatize, feel the, the difference in the oxygen and then assess yourself on how hard you want to go. Because if you go too fast, too early, 
you can't come back. <laughs> you can't get it back. You really have yeah. to manage your output. So that was the first session. And I didn't. I no. Didn't. But you came <laughs> back for more. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm so glad I did it because there was yeah. ob- an obvious difference. And yeah. the type, type of training was different. It wasn't just your like, it wasn't just functional training. It was very different. And I, I thrived on that. I thrived on the feeling that I was like losing my breath, even though I felt like I was fit enough to get through yeah. it. Uh, I'd never felt that before with exercise. So that was really cool for me mm. um, to feel that difference with not only the, the, the breathing, oh, but also the actual training. Yeah, yeah. like the weights, the yeah. boxing, yeah. you know, these different things. And, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Um, Our program so, really does kind of have a 360 appeal. It's not just, you know, this, I think people, there is a common misconception that it is just functional movement. Like, you know, I think that's what people think group fitness usually is, but our program is quite science-based. Yeah, We've got a variety of different things in there. We've got a lot of strength training. We've got some hybrid workouts. We've got boxing, conditioning, of course. There's just so much. It's hard to market it. Like, Em, you've just opened up Penrith, right? Um, so if anyone that's in our family now would know it more than anyone, it would be you. What, what are people saying when they first come in versus what they thought, right? So what they actually experienced versus what they thought. What are people saying? What are your members saying to you? I thought it was this, but it was that. Like what are, what are the, some yep, of the common yep. things that come back? Majority of it is, oh, I thought it was going to be like F45. Yeah, mm. yeah. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, man, yeah. not at all. Like, it, because it is so much easier on your joints, the way that the movements have been created and, yeah. and the flows and things like that, the flows are so different. And, and having your boost rep and form, like, that is a really important key element that nobody else does. And, yeah. you know, we just, we just had mixtape this morning. They're like, um, oh, that's a hard time. one. Please come again. Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> Four minutes on. Wow. What are you doing to me? But like, they all come out and they're just like, that was the best. That's my new yeah. favorite. I'm like, yes, it's, it's so different. You'll it have so that different. heaps. You'll have that heaps in the first uh, few months. Like, cause you'll, no. you'll come out with all these new workouts. Like that's my favorite. That's, that's my, my favorite. new favorite. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we had we- Everest, everybody oh, died and they wow. were like, yeah, I think I really like that, but I, I'm, I'm not, yeah, that was hard, but I really liked it. Like, you yeah, know, yeah. it's just so funny. Yeah. I think I've seen you crank up the altitude to like 3,900 meters. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, was, like, wow. it was sickening. I did three and a half Everest yeah. sessions while I was in Penrith. I never want to do Everest like ever again. Like you can't again. substitute this <laughs> altitude again. feeling though. You can't substitute it. Like it makes you... No. Mm. it's i don't know like it's just a it makes you feel you shaky and i don't know once you get adapted to it it's like you thrive on it you you're you're addicted to it um it is um, that's what i've been told as well it's it's 100 percent addictive. the best the addictive feeling for me i think is when you've absolutely thrust yourself in a workout you step outside and you just get blasted with oxygen and like that feeling because you acclimatize in there, like, right? So by the end of the workout, you don't even notice, really. Yeah, yeah. you're buggered because you've given your yeah. all. You're in, you're in the locker yeah. then. You're in the, lo- you're in the yeah. locker. Hurt yeah. locker. You're in the hurt <laughs> locker, but you're feeling okay. You're used to the altitude. You've adapted yeah. to the oxygen level in the room. But then when you step out, you're just like, boom. And you're like, shit, that feels good. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> Run at me. I can go again. <laughs> yeah. Run at me. Actually, we do have that. Like once you get hit with that oxygen, people are like, hmm, I'm doing a double tap. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then halfway, halfway through that first set, you're like, regrets. <laughs> So you've had this. Regrets. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had this amazing experience, right? Yes. Yes. But still, you got to make a big decision. Like, what was it that got uh, well, you to that point? Was it weight enthusiasm? Already, what was it? I was already all in. Honestly, yeah. I was already yeah. all in. Like, um, the first, the first, we had a business partner to begin with um, <clears throat> who owned another gym and um, she ended up having to drop out because it was a lot, it was too much, like, to do two gyms. But um, I, I, the, the second she dropped off, my, I called my parents and they're like, yes. 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 <laughs> like, I was like, no, this is happening. They're like, yeah, we're in, we're in. Like, oh, <laughs> wow. So, you know, they, they had heard about, we talked about it so much. They'd already watched all of anything we could find on you, yeah. Roman, online. Like, yeah. they watched yeah. it all. Like, 
you know, we, we just were Shout out to mum and dad, Les and exactly. Anita. Shout I love you guys. Mum and dad, yeah. Yes, <laughs> they, love them. They were just so excited to come on board and um, they've always wanted a business. Their parents came from business, like yep. they're, they're, they're owned, they owned businesses as well. So, you know, it's always been in the family. So once this came along, it is not like, they're like, if you had asked us even just six months ago, if we thought, that we would own a gym. There is no yeah. way, no yeah. way ever. That, and, and same with me though. Like it was just, um, do you think what you went thing? through with your diagnosis was something that was just like, you know what, I'm going to do this for me. Yep. And Wade was a hundred percent in too. Yep. Like he was just all in. He, he lives to make me happy. He's just an incredible oh. person. And oh, what a beautiful um, but, thing but to say. This, this was, this was just the, um, a really awesome opportunity for all yep. of us because it is such a positive thing um, yep. for me to have too. So my kids are a little bit old. I mean, they're still little, but they're a little bit older and I kind of feel like it's my, my turn to yep. have my life back a little bit. Amen, and, um, sister. To, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I've, always, I've always put them first and not that they're not first now, yeah. but you know, it's, it's my turn. And um, oh, I'm good on you, Em. That's so nice to hear. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. And, um, a lot of people wait uh, for long. something that, you know, and then the time passes them by and, and we've got this big sign called make today count in every yeah. one of our air lockers, uh, a tribute to our business partner, Mark Hughes, who went through a very tough ordeal through brain cancer, um, had a lot of things on the wish list that never really got to. And then his whole concept was, you know what? Break out the China. Yep. Get the good china Get out. Good china Don't out. let yes, it sit there. Exactly. Do the exactly do the right. do the renovations. Yep. Do the yes. things. Do the things. Make every day yes. count. Yes. Make today exactly count. Right. And um yeah, and you I think that, resonates that. Yeah, yeah. I think it resonates with everybody that walks in there with and see that sees that neon sign, they're just like, Yeah. Yes. I will. And they go yes. and smash it. Like, you know, it's just such a really like it's an awesome, awesome reminder. Um not just for today, but like, you know, to, to live by that, yes. um, especially when there are unknowns in life, when things like that can just happen out of the blue. Like yep. I've, I've always been like pretty healthy and yep. there was no reason for me to get this. And same with Mark, it's, it just comes and it can throw you through a big, like, <laughs> It could be a downward spiral or an yep. upward spiral and, yes. and it's a choice. And I remember looking at myself in the mirror on that weekend where we were waiting for those results and just saying, you have a choice. You can either decide to like curl up in a ball and not function and just let it all crash down on top of you. Or you can just decide to push forward and get through this and be okay with it because I don't know why I went through it. Maybe it was to help other people through it. Um, that's what I'd like to think. Cause the same month I was diagnosed, my two of my grandparents were diagnosed with breast cancer, like two grandmas. Like yeah. it was just insane. And then I got people checking their boobs, you know, like yeah. exactly. That's, that's I got, I've got, like, I've got goosebumps. I've got, I, honestly, I had to I make a choice. I, oh, I, wow. I did. It was the biggest decision You're of so my inspiring. life so far. Had, I had to make a choice whether like how I was going to react. Yeah. That's why I got goosebumps. Ellie and I, and, and, and our team all to always talk about choices. We try to uh, really epitomize in our training model. You have a choice, right? Uh, focus through fatigue, which is our training motto, Absolutely. right? We, yeah. we fatigue you through a boost set. Uh, you've got a choice to either you reach this point of adversity. Yes. Which is in, it relates to the life, your adversity, your boost, you, you've done that boost set, you've, you, you're fatigued. And then what's your choice after that? And exactly. in our sessions, like, you know, M and L's will, we'll boost it. Then we'll go into a form set where you've got to really concentrate on that technique. Are you going to give up on it or choose to do the technique yeah. or so when you say choices, oh, I just had goosebumps. Goosebumps? Yeah. Goosebumps, goosebumps are like huge, <laughs> huge ones. They're, they're like, huge goosebumps. Yeah, they're way bigger than but goosebumps. goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like that just speaks so loudly to us and it just yes. hits home because it's like that's what that's what we that's what we like Live that epitomizes by. our our workouts yeah. and our experiences in class and then that directly translates to life like when people are in a workout they they face adversity and then they overcome it 
you have a feeling of pride in yourself yes. and yes. you know you know you can get through stuff and then that translates to your life exactly if you That's train crazy. that if you train that multiple times each day and you know you're connected to that that I can do this. I can overcome things and exercises and, and our training product in particular is a great way to exercise that brain muscle or that choice decision make, making muscle. Mm. Cause if you can get that mindset, Oh, look, look out, out world. Run at me. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I mean, a lot of ha- lots happened on the journey uh, on the way here. How was how was the last like kind of couple of weeks to a month from opening up? I mean, it really gets pretty interesting. There's a lot going on. How was it the last month? Um, it's been hectic. Yes, like full on crazy mode. I like I have been run off my feet, but it's all been such a huge learning experience for me that it's it's awesome. It's a good learning experience it's all been very positive but you know we had a bit of trouble with our landlords for a bit and and things like that but like we got there you yes. get there that's the thing you get there, got there. how many just, times like, did up. we how many <laughs> times <laughs> it'll be here before we know it em yeah. it'll be here before we know it em and then it's here yeah. every <laughs> week great job else every week em and i would check in <laughs> with each other and we would bet that you know it is a roller coaster. There's highs and lows on this this process to opening up the gym, and you know you'd, you'd take a step and then maybe be two steps back, and then you'd take a few more steps forward. And every single time we check in each week, I'd be like, "You just wait." Oh, I was great. like, "We're gonna be there." I was like, "I'm gonna say this to you on open day. I'm gonna hug you. I'm gonna be like, we did it. We're here. We made it. <laughs> we did. We made it." And and that was the thing the whole way through. We will make it through. And sometimes you just have to laugh at some of the things that went wrong. Like we, yeah. if you didn't laugh, you would cry. Yes. But then you get through it because like we had all of your support, like obviously family and stuff, but like all of head office and, you know, Mitch and Greg and the team, Roman, you and, and, and Shandor, everybody. And Mark, like Mark even called me for my birthday. Like he wished oh. me happy birthday. I was like, you're the sweetest person ever. Like, <laughs> You know, it's like it's like we just we wanted life. we wanted to bomb you with love. <laughs> so <laughs> easy to it. love you. It's easy to yeah, love it's you. Very love. easy. So easy to love you. Hey, uh, I, let's talk about the family aspect. Um, I think uh, I, I can't speak for other other companies or other brands, but what makes us so special, in my opinion, and what I'm so proud about is this whole thing has grown organically. Like everyone that's a part of this team has been either a friend of mine or a friend of somebody that came into the journey and it's just spread and spread and spread. Like I genuinely feel like we are a family, a community. It is like that. I feel the same. So like that. I remember on open day just Oh my God, that was the moment. (laughs) My phone, like you guys cutting the ribbon and Everyone's crying. Les and Anita are crying. Wait, uh, saying a beautiful speech. You're crying. I'm crying. I look at Roman. Then all the hugs started. Up. Then we're all hugging each <laughs> other. Shandor's tearing up. Yeah, Everyone's just like, wow. oh. Shandor was cracking up the yeah. other day. He was like, he was like, this is weird, man. He was like, how close you get to these people. He's like, I'm telling them I love them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Shandor's my bestie. Whenever he calls, oh, wow. I'm like, hello, bestie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, why not? Why not be that close? You know, like why not open your hearts up that much? That's what I think. And I just think that this journey that we've had with you, Em, has just been such a, such a, like you pinch yourself thinking how lucky we are to be able to bring this great product called Air Locker into existence. And, but then just having those relationships and connections and moments with Connect each other, with people. Like, I'm like driving back from Penrith back to Newcastle, just, just jacked. <laughs> going, oh my god, <laughs> wow, how good is this? You know, yeah. and uh, yeah. So I've really got to manage my energy a bit, bit better because I, <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're hung over by you get so much into something and. Yeah. We're just yeah. so proud that we could support you and your beautiful team. Like mm. your man, Nick, shout out to Nick. Nick He's the man. absolute man down That's there. And has you his know, voice come back? Can oh. you tell me that? Does he have his voice? <laughs> <laughs> not quite back yet. It's, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Like, screaming is, 
Yeah. The whole team, like, hey, what's Chelsea doing? You want if Chelsea, if you're listening to this, you are the sweetest woman I know, right? Now she told me I was her number one. Right? She told <laughs> yeah, me. And she told Chando he, he she was his, he was her number one, and then she went back to you, and I'm not really sure who is. No, 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 let's She's let's just let's get this straight. Let's yeah. get this straight. She landed on me last. She said, look, you know, I kind of lost my way a bit there, but I found myself again. You are definitely number one. Emma, can you please explain to our listeners who Chelsea is? Oh, we love her. Chelsea is the most beautiful young girl. She is um, the sister of one of our members. Um, She has Down syndrome, but she has the absolute biggest heart. Um, Huge smile on her face. We gave her a T-shirt and she was just, (laughs) I will wear this every day. Like, I love it. Like, Kelby would have come down to airlock and she's like, I will, you know. Yeah, it's the best. As soon as I've seen them. She's got an eye for good-looking men. Oh, well. Yes, she does. (laughs) Um, but yeah, Chelsea, yeah. shout out to you. I hope you're doing well and rocking that t-shirt with pride. We love you. Yeah. Emma, yes. what I want to hear, what I feel like will be something invaluable for people who are coming up through the franchisee process or thinking about becoming a franchisee themselves. What's some advice that you can give to those people? Well, can I just say, I have never owned a business before. I had never worked in a gym until just before I started. Only six months I had worked in a gym for. So um, anybody can do it. Like little old me with no real experience at all um, can do it with my family and with my air locker family um, and my team. Like if I can do it, anybody can do it because we have so much support. I've heard of so many other gyms or franchises that have just been like, the equipment is just delivered and that's the end of it. They cut ties. Whereas my hand has been held through this whole thing. Um, ask all the questions. I I feel like I got a bit annoying with asking all the questions, but you guys never, no. you never came across like I would bothered you ever. Like you always spent as much time as I needed helping <laughs> me and answering my questions and coming down here and like getting the whole crew here. It's just, I feel very special I, and I, I feel very important to you guys. And that's, that's really, that means a lot coming into yeah. something that is so foreign. Mm. It's such yeah. a big life decision. Like, crikey, it, it, it would have been, I can only imagine, like, how did, you, how did you feel making that choice? Like, that's a big life choice, isn't yes. it? You know, like, to be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest all this money. I'm going to start a business that I've never done I'm just going to make before. a statement here. Probably the best choice you've ever made. I'm going to. Apart from Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Kids and kids, you should and, and, of course, of course, course, of course, of course, of course. We can't forget the children. Uh, uh, they are yeah, probably, like, probably up there, right like, up there with the kids. This is the first, like, the really biggest life changing decision that I've made. Like, before that, obviously, with kids and family and stuff, that was big decisions too. But you know, the last one last year, that wasn't a decision that I made, and I grew so much through it. But I got to choose this with my family, with all of the support, and um, best choice, honestly. Oh, it there it is. The it is again. Best choice. There it is. And, and you, you do have, you, everything that you teach is making today count. And, yes. and that's very much how I feel about like after the trauma last year and people th- went through a lot of trauma with just COVID alone. Um, you do need to make every day count. You do need to make decisions in your life that point you in the right direction. And honestly, through this whole thing, everything has just shoved me towards you guys. Like it's, it's honestly, it has been, my life took this big turn and faced straight towards you guys because it was all just meant to be like, no. I honestly believe that it was, it was, it meant yeah. to, it was meant to be. And we feel um, the same you are family now and you will never get rid of me. And we hope and pray <laughs> we never have to. Yes. Hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we won't. <laughs> got a bit mushy there. That was nice. Um, we, we talk a lot about having like one of my, one of the things that I talk about all the time is choices and moments, right? So and I think um, airlock for me and in particular your journey has been, uh, it started with a fan, like a great scary, but in the end, beautiful choice for you guys to trust us um, to back our brand being a quite a new brand as well. Um, you made that choice and, um, you know, early myself, the whole team, so grateful that you make that, that we were your choice, right? We, we're yeah. so grateful for that. And 
then that underpins what happens next, which is just so many great moments that we've already shared. Um, yeah. None better than cutting that ribbon on Saturday. That was an amazing yeah. moment that, you know, we'll never, that's ours forever. Exactly. You know, that Absolutely. moment is ours forever yeah. now. And people have, people get to have those moments for themselves in your gym now. Yes. You know, you're going to share that with your yes. members in your community. And yes. that is the most beautiful, ongoing, fulfilling thing that, you get to bring to your community and you and your family get to experience for yourself. So and I think, really beautiful. I think for me, like what we look for in a, uh, our partners, you know, that join us and invest in and make a choice to say, okay, airlock is for us is we're looking for people that want to, whatever it is that that heartbeat airlocker has, right? Whatever that is in it, you know, it's family, it's community, it's obviously it's innovation. It's a great training program, but that deeper soul level of it, right? We're looking for partners that can, can epitomize that because the way, way things happen in life is as soon as you're inspired or motivated, when it's in you, you can then just seep that through to everybody else within your community. And I always say this, it's like, you know, you, you take a cup, you drink from that cup, it nurtures you enough to go and nourish yourself, but you turn that one cup and you turn it into a river. <laughs> The Nepean River. You turn it into the river, yeah, right? And you, and you nourish everyone. And then you nourish the whole land. The whole village. And then they nourish. All of the lands. And then they, everyone's nourished. But I'm, I'm being serious. Like, that's how this happens. Yeah. You can just take one shot of motivation or make one choice. And then you bring that internally. And then all of a sudden with that, you then that can Sharing seep that. through You're to other people, to you know, and I'm, I, I'm, that's I'm knowing the magic is, isn't it? it's magic. And I know that's what you're going to do to your community, your coaching, your coaching staff, your, your members. And, um, that's what we are doing here. Mm. Nourishing yeah. the Nepean and river. I, <laughs> nourishing the Nepean river. Oh, I love I've it. always wanted to, to make a difference. And, yes. and this is, this is how I can. I, I am it's just so platform. excited to see, yeah, absolutely. You've given me the stage. Now we've just got to put on that that awesome show, and and we already have. Yes. People are already converted, and uh, it it only took a week. It only took one class yes. for some yep. people, you know. And yep. and that's exactly what you've done for us. So thank you, Roman and Ellie, and the head office team. I can't even name them all. There's been so many yes. people <laughs> helped us through this. You, yeah, honestly, and you you are making a big difference to people's lives because of this. And I'm so glad that I get to be a part of that and and get to spill that cup over into the Nepean River. In yes, oh, Emma. Yes. Oh, honestly, oh. em, we love you so much. Oh, it's been hundred percent. I honestly do love you guys so much. Too. We love you too. Honestly, you're honestly. gonna make me cry. It's honestly <laughs> been. Come on, Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly <laughs> 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 it's been it's been the most rewarding experience helping guide you through this process em, and even more so seeing your studio open up and just spill that love out into the community so we wish you all the best. We are here for you, of course. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today and share your story. It's been incredible. Thank you so Thank much, Em. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we love you. We love you. We love you. Well, is that is that that's that's uh, episode two? That's a that's, wrap. That's, oh, that's a wrap. <laughs> no, I just want to say thank you to you, Ellie. I'm only a special <laughs> guest here. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be here. I just was in the area and said, oh, you're doing a podcast? Let me jump Is in on that. <laughs> Did you say that podcast is yeah. that one? Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> well, thanks, Em. You are an absolute legend. We will be seeing you and speaking to you very soon. Uh, I can't wait to get down to Penrith again next week. Uh, I'll be training, showing the way. Um, so thanks, guys. Thanks, Els. <laughs> I don't know. How do we sign this off? I don't know. Thanks, guys. Yes, thanks, guys. Over and out. Peace. That is all. Air Locker, episode two.